Today we're going to look at the comping feature in Ableton 11. For this video I've created a um, instrument rack with a bunch of wavetables and then I have mapped the uh, this uh, knob here so it, it shifts be between these uh, different sounds so when I'm going to do a recording of it to be used for comping I have a different I have different material with different kind of texture to work with. At the end of the video I will put a download link for this uh, instrument rack with all the sounds that are in it. Uh, the only thing that you is not uh, Ableton uh, plugin is the kick 2 which you can replace it with just a kick sample if you want to use the same kind of sound that I'm going after. I've been creating a bunch of uh, loops uh, using this comping feature and I will make these available for my Patreons. If you're my Patreon, first of all thank you so much for your support. Your support makes videos just like this possible to be available for free for everyone so thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed these uh, loops as much as i enjoyed creating them uh, i will audition some of them for you so you can hear The wave tables here, these are time calculated envelope to loop. Changes between loop mode and non-loop mode in the em for envelope number two for all of these wave tables. And what it does is it creates a loop which is then mapped to it's mapped to the filter frequency. And I've timed this for this track, which is 135 BPM to be a 16th note and a and an eighth note so the 16th is for the decay and eighth is for the release so if you're uh, downloading this make sure you time calculate this to the same for your tracks or whatever uh, bpm you're working with so they stay in uh, sync otherwise the sound uh, probably will not work for your project because it's going to be out of sync you can use the time calculator to calculate these uh, values here and you can experiment and get some different uh, settings out of this. Okay, uh, I think that's about it and the rest of these are self-explanatory. You can just play around with them and see how they sound. But uh, envelope, uh, envelope 2 loop and uh, groove is the ones that I'm going to focus on because that's what's going to change some grooves in here. and. When I want to do comping, I want to have so many different kind of textures and rhythms that I can choose from so I can come up with something quick. So I'm going to get on Ableton Push and uh, do some dancing with the sounds and see what uh, we can do. Before I do that, I create a new track and the track number two is going to be resampling. So whatever is coming from track number one, it's going to be resampled and I have created a loop of four bars here. Uh, maybe, yeah, four bar is good. Uh, let's do a four bar loop and then I hit record and then this is gonna uh, record in loop and uh, create the lane tracks which are gonna be used for comping. <laughs> Okay, that, that uh, is enough material to work with for now. Um, let's see what we have. So let's quickly go over comping in Ableton and I'll explain how things work there. It's really simple, there's not much to it. Uh, you have what's called the lane takes, which um, 
if you have recorded in a loop it will automatically create those for you so command option u will open all these lanes for you uh, or right click on the track and say show take lanes the track that is uh, highlighted at the top is the track that is going to be played and this track is a combination of whatever you have selected down here so let's say let me just uh, change some of these colors so uh, we can see as it updates up there so for example if i select this part and this part you can see the track up here gets updated with whatever you have selected and that's basically what comping does in here so you just go between the different takes and take the part that you want and at the top you have the track so if i now get rid of the lanes i'm left with the whatever i have selected uh, in order to in order to go in the comping uh, mode here you need to go in draw mode so um, b on your keyboard will go in the draw mode and you can drag and drop and just drag the selection that you want now if you have already made a selection in one of the lanes uh, if you click anywhere above or below that it will select the same length for that new track so if I had like a smaller section here, if I click, it would automatically just select the same duration for the sample, which makes it really easy to work with the in the comping. Now let's uh, see what we have and what we can come up with. I'm going to very randomly select some samples here and see if anything interesting comes up out of there. Uh, I am gonna create a yeah, I'm going to create a 16th uh, pattern. So I'm going to select a 16th from each loop here and make sure we're not in solo mode. Okay, so that's uh, something completely random. Now let's see if we can find some good sections of these and then um, find, come up with something actually interesting. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I'm, I feel like a, an eighth would work better with this because I already had like a sixteenth pattern in a lot of the sounds that was recorded. <laughs> Yeah, so that that's cool. Uh, that became something actually very interesting. Okay, I am going to um, because now these these are like these are really short clips and it's gonna create some clicks probably. Uh, I'm gonna create some fades on all of these clips. Uh, select all of them, Command Option F, uh, or right click here and go to Crossfade. <laughs> It actually sounds interesting with some of the clicks, but um, not sure if um, yeah, I'm not sure if I want to have those clicks. So that is comping in a nutshell. Now uh, I. I won't stop here. I I will resample this and then resample the resample and I keep just doing this and things that come out of this kind of uh, workflow you cannot get any other way really. 
Now I can already, he I can hear some redox on this. And you guessed it right, so I'm gonna resample this in a new track and get this from. Actually, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, do it this way. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna re-record this and then play around with the Redux settings and then maybe do another comp. Let's export the first track that we created here, so I can make it available for download. And for the second part again, let's go to the comping and see which portions of these I want. I, I kind of know what I want, it's gonna be these sections. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer all your questions. Until next time, stay in sync.